Okay, my collectives, this is White Butterfly Ascension coming to give y'all another reading. This is about to be for my Tauruses, Virgos, and Capricorns, Earth Signs. Next 48, camera cut off, so let me show y'all what I got. Somebody is trying to compromise with y'all. While I was shuffling, I saw, and then we got at the bottom of the deck, pretending so somebody is trying to compromise. I saw a drama queen, so I saw divine feminine. So someone is trying to compromise in order so they can come into union with the divine feminine because we got commitment and we got grip. So somebody is trying to get a, a grip on their feelings, their emotions. Right now, they're pretending like they are unbothered, but they are truly fucking bothered by y'all. This commitment. Maybe they are ready to come and compromise so y'all can be in some type of long-term commitment. Long-term relationship. Or maybe y'all have... Okay, I'm gonna just show y'all this here. Yeah. So we got love and we got twin flame. Y'all may be dealing with y'all twin flame. So someone, I was about to say that you may be leaving a long-term commitment that makes you feel way down, anchored down. You have already made the decision. You have tried to compromise with a certain someone but it just has not worked. And you are ready to lighten that load, is what I just heard. You are ready to file them papers if y'all in a marriage. Because you're ready to get out of this. You are ready to get out of this situation situationship, commitment that you have family ties with. Okay, show me what else I need to see for my Capricorn. Cap uh, when I was shuffling, I saw Divine Feminine. This is Divine Masculine. So this is a Divine Masculine who we are talking about who has had this sudden realization that you are the one that they want to be with, come together with, and build a family together with. But maybe they need to cut ties with someone else, and they're suddenly getting this realization that they need to cut ties with this other person so y'all can come into union. And since I saw Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine and the Twin Flame card, this could possibly... No. Don't you come over here. This could possibly be your Twin Flame. But someone is not facing the truth right now. And I would more than likely say that's the Divine Masculine because he's pretending right now. He might be feeling embarrassed. He's feeling embarrassed because he can't believe that he has let a commitment in the past make him feel chained and weighed down. And he just said, heart just turned purple. So maybe you had a lot of passion for this person at one time, but that passion is out the door and you are ready to move on to your divine feminine to come into union with your twin flame get away from me. and then the come together call came out anyway so your divine masculine is ready for y'all to come into union they're trying to get a grip on life and all that entails because you know Let's 
they about to come trying to have an intervention about y'all coming together. Okay. Show me who this compromises with for my Earth Signs next 48. Show me this compromise card. See? Divine masculine needing to make a decision. A decision that has kept him up in his head. Clarify the two of four a decision that has kept him up in his head about this commitment that he is trying to become. He's trying to come into union with his divine counterpart, but he's coming to the realization that he can't come into union until he did this other situation. And then we got Knight of Cups in reverse. So you are this divine masculine is no longer, well, it might be, I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't know if it's supposed to come out reverse, but this person is not trying to offer anything to this person anymore. They have been in their head, but now they're trying to walk away from this long-term relationship. Clarify commitment. Clarify commitment for... And as I say that, four ones. So, your Divine Masculine needs to walk away from a commitment of stability, a commitment with a person that they've been in a long-term relationship with. So, you can get this Nine of Cups. So, after you release yourself from this commitment, you get this four of wands and this wish fulfillment with your person so y'all can come together. The wheel will turn in your favor. Clarify this grip. as well trying to walk away from someone that's very cutthroat someone that's spiteful someone that has made you feel bound and gagged to bound and gagged to a situation you feel like this person has held you back and you are ready to walk away from this person because you put a lot of time, patience, and effort into this relationship, but you now realize in order for you to get to your happily ever after, to your nine of cups, you have to make a decision you made a decision to not offer this four wands anymore because you're ready for your nine of cups with your divine feminine and as i say that judgment at the bottom of the deck so y'all definitely y'all making judgment up okay so we got the King of Swords and the Page of Cups. So we do have a pair here. So that's my King of, King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So this was a very spiteful relationship. A lot of in your head moments. A lot of A 
lot of no holds bar, a lot of malice, a lot of sleepless nights. Oh, it's right quick, y'all. Mm. Show me this divine masculine. So, this king of swords and queen of swords is no longer offering, offering to each other a cup of love because the page of cups came in reverse with the king of swords. So, this is the relationship you're trying to get a grip on. This is the relationship you're trying to walk away from that you felt bound and gagged to. And then they got the Queen of Pentacles. That's y'all card. So this situation y'all was grounded and stuck in. Felt like you was attached or someone was attached to you. Show me this Divine Masculine. That's clarity. This divine masculine is leaving this empress ASAP. So, I already told you it was a baby mama or a long term commitment. But since the empress came out, that's telling me that this divine masculine is running away from this empress. He does not want to work on this commitment anymore. And somebody is in denial. So let's see who's in denial. Show me denial. Show me denial. Facts. And you got facts coming on by Kevin Gates. That's facts. Yes, Lord. So, again, someone is in denial about a heartbreaking situation. Maybe it's this divine masculine that's got to go and leave this empress. But someone does not want to face the facts like Kevin Gates just said about a heartbreaking situation. But let's see. Let's see, show me, come together. I mean, come together. Y'all got ten of cups. Y'all are waiting to end this relationship with an empress, a baby mama, long-term commitment. After being heartbroken, so y'all walk into this ten of pentacles. To come in together, union with your divine feminine or your divine masculine. So y'all can have what? The wheel turning y'all favor. Facts. And this person wants to be rescued. Show me rescue. See? Two of Pentacles. They've been juggling this idea to leave this situation with this Empress because it's been a lot of heartache pain, agony, a lot of tit for tat, a lot of, a lot of tit for tat, a lot of going back and forth, a lot of mean, mean situations that has came into play because of this person, this queen of swords was nasty not nasty like that but like nasty with her words nasty with how she her delivery with her words 
this King of Swords was one that was trying to be more emotionally stable. But this King of Swords figured out that you can't be emotionally stable with someone that's emotionally unstable. Just saying. But uh, this person is ready to rush towards you and take action towards you. Show me this Ten of Pentacles. That's what's up. So y'all might have to make a decision. My earth signs, but y'all have a good outcome. Confirmation. Four of Swords. So that's you feeling like you're in a fetal position. Feeling like you're trapped and bound to this situation. King of Wands at the bottom. So this King of Wands is ready to take actions because he is ready to take action because he has his emotions intact and ready to have this Nine of Pentacles and sit on his throne with his Divine Feminine. Let's see what else we need to see. Clarify these three swords. There's a lot of heartache and pain with this situation. A lot of heartbreaking moments. A lot of... You didn't see the growth in this relationship. You didn't see... And as I say that, you got the High Priestess and the Five of Cups. So you had an intuitive inner knowing that you was going to have to leave this home situation. You knew that it would break your heart. But in order for you to get that peace, in order for you to have that peace of mind, you had to leave this toxicity. You had to leave this person that kept... Y'all in argumentative, kept you arguing, kept you in a chaos, kept confusion up. You never had, you never knew what to expect when you came home from this person. You never knew when the shit was going to hit the fan again, in other words. So now you have this intuitive knowing that it's time for you to walk away from this situation because you're ready to move towards this Ten of Pentacles so you can come together with your divine partner. Okay, collectives. Let's get y'all a song for my Earth size next forty eight. Okay. You've been praying a lot. They got all of my steps. Cause you about to shake some shit up, shake the room by pop smoke. Cause you ready to go to your love of your life by Erica Badu. Let me get y'all Message of guidance. Message of guidance. From the divine. I'll close out this reading from my earth signs. And what does it say? A new start is coming. So yes, my collectives. A new start is coming for my Virgo Capricorns. And Tauruses, y'all gonna have to take the first step to walk away from toxicity, from anything that's not serving you to your highest good. If it's not benefiting you, then cut your losses and keep it moving. Life is fucking short as fuck. And why spend your time and waste your time with someone?
that you don't see happiness with. Why waste your time with someone that's selfish? That you ready to walk away and run away. And see, you got the spider web at the bottom. So you felt like you were stuck to this situation. Just like she's in this little cocoon. You felt like you were stuck to the situation. And you didn't know how to make the decision. But you're tired of juggling. And you're ready for this Ten of Cups. I meant this Ten of Pentacles. Everything being together. With that being said, my collectors. This is your next 48 for my earth signs. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If y'all need your own personal reading, check out the website. And for shorter content, check out my TikTok. Y'all be easy.